when you're taking the route exam, it's important to be able to subnet quickly and accurately. So we're going to jump right into our next customer request. The customer asks us to efficiently subnet the following networks to accommodate the given number of hosts. Use the lowest number of subnets possible and then proceeds to give us what looks like almost a dozen different networks. Now essentially the customer is giving us a set of networks that he wants to use like 10.0.12.0 slash 24, 10.0.14.0 slash 24 and so on. But the catch is that he wants us to subnet each of these networks efficiently so that each subnet can accommodate a certain maximum number of hosts. Now notice that each of these networks the customer has given us has a 24-bit subnet mask. The term subnetting implies that we're going to need to extend that mask to the right. So when we subnet each of these networks, we're going to end up with a subnet mask greater than 24 bits in length. So how exactly do we subnet based on the number of hosts that must reside within the subnet? Well, there's four basic steps, which I'll briefly list, and then we'll look at some examples. First, we're going to add one to the maximum number of hosts that need to reside in the subnet. Next, we'll convert that result to binary, and then count the number of leftmost, or high order zeros. And then we'll add that number to the original mask to get the final result. So let's start with the first one. We need to efficiently subnet 10.0.12.0 slash 24 to accommodate a maximum of two hosts. Now this network as is can already accommodate two hosts, can accommodate more than that, but we need to make efficient use of IP space. So the customer is asking us to subnet it to conserve as much IP space as possible. So the first thing we're gonna do is add one to the number of hosts, which in this case is two. Two plus one, of course, is three. Now we convert three to binary, which is six zeros and then one one. Now count the number of zeros to the left of the leftmost one. Well, I just said what it was, it's six zeros. So we add six to the number of bits in the original network mask, which was 24. And that gives us the new subnet mask, which is a slash 30. The subnet is 10.0.12.0 slash 30. All right, let's take a look at the next one. Networks 10.0.14, 23, 36, 45, and 56.0 slash 24 all need to be able to accommodate up to six hosts. Now, this is five different networks here, but we only have to calculate the new subnet mask once since all of these networks need to be able to hold up to a maximum of six hosts each. So let's try this. We'll add one to the number of hosts, which is six, and that gives us seven. Now we write 7 in binary, which is 00000111. And we count the number of zeros to the left of the leftmost one. That gives us 5. So we add 5 to the original number of bits, 24, and the answer is a 29-bit subnet mask. And that's going to be the subnet mask for all of these networks where we need to accommodate a maximum of 6 hosts. Finally, one more example, let's try this with the 14 host for the 10.0.18, 27, and 34.0 slash 24 networks. We'll add 1 to the number of hosts to get 15. We convert 15 to binary and count the number of zeros to the left of the leftmost 1. There are 4, so we add 4 to the number 24 and we get 28, a 28-bit 28 subnet mask. 